Hi, my name is Brian Miller. I'm in here, our, our local cemetery. I'm in here because the people that built this city are here. They, these people are the ones that started it. And I like to come down and look at the headstones and see what, see what the people that were here. You may ask, why am I doing this? Well, I do, uh, I do a morning walk every morning and I do a lot of traveling. And when I'm traveling around the world, if I get out, do my walk, if I'm near a cemetery, I'll stop by the cemetery to see what people have done to help build the city. So as I'm walking along, look at the plaques. I come up and look at a plaque, and here it says their name on it. It says they were born at this date. Then there's a dash, and then they were died. And I'm looking at it, and the dash, that's their history. Is life just a dash? My mother died in uh, 2000, uh, May 2014. Went to her funeral. My sister Cheryl had a lot of pictures of my mother when she was young to when she was old. People stood up, as myself, talked about mother, about my mother's life, and uh, we talked about her whole life. And I was thinking at the end of it, she'll have a plaque and it will have her date that she was born the dash and then the date she died. I believe that her history should be more than just a dash. And about a week later I went to my son's place and my son Mark and me, I told him about the funeral, what happened to my mother and he said, Dad, I have an idea. The idea is that on each uh, grave set should be a picture of the person and a barcode. The barcode will have the history of that person. I got thinking about that and realized that that dash that I was talking about can be the history. The barcode could be the history. And so the idea was born, history to share was born, so we can fill in that dash with history. So the next time I go to my mother's uh, gravesite, history to share will be on there. It'll have the, the picture and have a barcode. At that time, I'll take out my phone, my smartphone, Take it to the gravesite, put it on the read it with the barcode reader, and then I'll have my mother's whole written history. I'll have the pictures when she was young to when she was old. It'll even have the family tree in there. The family tree uh, goes back to about late 1600s in Europe. So now I know that when I leave my mother's site, that there just won't be a dash there. To be history to share, her memorial life will be there with her.